one month exactly one month from that date that you're looking at on the screen is when the NBA is supposedly getting back to what it does best playing basketball I'm only going to talk about one thing today y'all and that's how the NBA lockout is over hello and welcome to 2k sports you're watching the NBA Friday hoops fest coming up next it's going to be the New York Knicks up against Brooke Lopez and the New Jersey Nets. And that's it for us in the studio. To call all the action, let's go out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. I'll see you again at halftime. <laughs> yeah, how y'all feel? Because I feel so awesome. How you feel? Awesome. I guess that's awesome. You fine and your yeah, awesome. Want to roll? Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I got one question for y'all. Who thinks that that song right there went exactly with how you feel right now? If you love that the NBA lockout seems to be over, I know you feel awesome. I can see it in your face right now, and I ain't even looking at you. I know you feel awesome. I feel awesome right now, man. Um, It's been so many things that I've been wanting, and the NBA lockout to be over is one that I got my wish. It's, uh, after 149 days of a lockout, you guys, the season is going to begin on Christmas Day. What better day? What better day than Christmas Day? Now, as Outlaw get that put back, man, look at Melo. What are you doing? Look, get down. But, look, yo, forget about the gameplay. Let's talk about the NBA lockout and how it seems to be over. Now, after a 15-hour meeting on Friday, it seems that the commissioner has gotten the owners and the players to make a handshake deal that needs to be ratified, though. It's just a handshake for right now. It's not nothing signed up, nothing's ratified, nothing's voted on. But they say that the season will begin December 25th. Now, the season opener is a monster of games. You have the Boston Celtics versus the New York Knicks. You have Miami Heat at Dallas. Whew. Then you got D. Rose and the Chicago Bulls going up against Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. Come on. Tell me that's not a bomb day. Like, tell me your Christmas day is not going to be set. You know how many people going to call out from work? Like, I'm t I'm calling out, right? Like, I already put my day up on the board. I'm calling out. I, I don't know what I'm, I might not even be able to wake up the day after Christmas. That's how bad it's going to be. <laughs> now, check this out, guys. 66 games. That's what they're saying. They're saying 66 games is what they're trying to do now. They're trying to open up the training camps. They're trying to get the contracts for the rookies signed. And they're trying to get all the free agents, you know, settled by December 9th. Now, they say that it's going to take up about 30 days, you know, until the first game can be played. So, the way I see it, Christmas is perfect. It's totally perfect with me. I'm not, I don't have any type of obligations. I'm perfectly fine with this. The only thing is these hardline owners now you need 15 votes out of 29 votes for the owners to get this thing ratified now the union that's a different story they have over 430 plus members now I know for a fact that all of these NBA players that's in this union want basketball so we we don't even have to worry about them but teams like the Charlotte Bobcats and Michael Jordan and the Sixers want to of course my team they my team would be a hardline owner thanks a lot Sixers. but up to if it was up to these teams they would they would battle it out until it was over now some sources say that the players are going to get a 51.2 percent bri that's basketball related income but i don't know how how true that is you know it's just a source you know i'm on espn every minute of every day it's nothing that you can you can say to me to tell me that I'm I, I just got to be on ESPN all day long. Like it's it's not my fault. I live on ESPN. But listen, as far as I'm concerned, I want the NBA to happen. 
you know, um, it's, it's nothing more I would like, you know, for Christmas, you know, besides maybe a brand new car, you know, <laughs> but, you know, I, I do really want the NBA season to start. Um, and that's why I really picked this gameplay for you guys. I picked the New York Knicks versus the New Jersey Nets. Now, the reason for this is because most of the meetings were in New York, you know, and of course, you know, New York is on the eastern coast, so they come out with all the banging information first, you know. <laughs> so it, it is what it is. And the reason why I wanted the New Jersey Nets to be highlighted in this video is because they're going to be going to Brooklyn soon. And this is this in the future. This is going to be a battle in New York, like for real, like the Knicks versus the Nets. Like I don't know if they're going to still be called the Nets. I don't. I don't know about all of that. I can't get into all of that. But what I do know is, one's going to be in Brooklyn. One's going to be in Manhattan. It's going to be like the hood versus the the city or something. Like I don't know, man. It's going to be it's going to be a, a a slugfest, you know, on the court. Now, check this out, guys. I'm going to get into the gameplay right about now. It seems like Sasha Vujicic, whatever his name is, can put back dunk with ease. Mind you, with ease. Is this 2K or is it, can he do that in real life? That's the question. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, my man Stoudemire is doing his thing. They're trying to keep the Nets from coming back. Now... Check this out, man. How did you get how did you get young boy like that, Stoddy? Like, come on. How did you get young boy like that? <laughs> like, dude just put him on his back. Like, man, listen, get out of here, fool. It's all about Anthony. Iso. Come on, man. Too easy. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Mm. Shame. <sighs> Such a shame. A law soldier on the battlefield. Nah, this ain't Call of Duty. Well, I'm tripping. <laughs> but check it out, man. New York is up 94-88. But that can easily change, man. Easily. As long as my man Darren Williams is in the game, numbers, they're not a factor. Come on. If you're going to be leaving this guy open like that, they're not a factor. Come on. But Stoudemire had a little bit something to say about that. Double spin. Easy pickings. <laughs> Come on, ref. Next time, ref, I need that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Morrow. Listen, three-point specialists on every single team this year, guys. This is crunch time. We practice this and play for this moment every single day. Don't be afraid to show some emotion out there, guys. All right, Doris, thanks. time shot to fall and we are headed to overtime that is ice water in the veins right there I mean that was a cold-blooded make regulation is ended and we're heading to overtime back in just a bit here in overtime y'all going to overtime on it man the Knicks do not have Carmelo Anthony man he is still on the bench I don't know what's going on. Williams is doing his thing. Like, guy, he got that joint A. But check out Morrow playing cleanup. Now, look at. Come on. This is too much cleanup, you guys. What's going on? Did the Knicks just give up? Do, do they not want to win? Come on, man. Oh, come on. You left Williams open again. Come on. Look at this. Easy pick and roll, man. Don't worry about the pass. You got to worry about the shot. Now, for some reason, 2K made that play a little bit too cheese, man. Anybody can hit a three-point shot off a pick. Anybody. Uh-oh. Easy still. Billups. Uh. Look at this. Is that three seconds? Oh, uh, man. They done gave the ball to a power forward. Power forwards are hitting three-point shots nowadays. Come on, man. This game is too much. Oh, here we go. That double spin move again. Oh, he guarding it now. He said, I'm not falling for that move again. All right. I don't know if that was a dribble fail, but Stoudemire did get to the rim. <laughs> I don't know, man. They The, the centers and the power forwards do a little bit too much dribbling in this game, man. Just a little bit too much. All right. It's coming to the end, man. New York, somehow, you know, they came back with a couple threes. And they decided, you know what, let's take the lead. 
And I don't know what Darren Williams and them are going to do. If Chauncey makes both of these, they still have a chance. And you know Chauncey Billups is an assassin from the foul line. So he sank the first one. They up by two right now. All I can say is, man, this is IKC signing out. I want y'all to watch the end of this video. <laughs> you, you will be surprised at the things that you see. All right, y'all. Peace. Full advantage of the charity stripe here. Stretching that margin to three. Time. And um, that wouldn't be a bad way to, to approach this situation. Tony Turioff, who's checked in for Landry Fields. And here's Outlaw from the arc. It's good! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. New York calls timeout. so clutch. Here's a guy you want on your side with the game on the line, Kevin. Got it off in time. So a close game sees New York take this one. You know, Clark, they couldn't put him away in regulation, but after a superb performance in overtime, they managed to get the job done. Yeah, just an amazing game, but they pulled away at the end. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Hamari Stoudemire.